Hello everyone, today I'm going to be starting a brand new series of tutorial-esque videos. Unlike the beginners, uh, C5 for beginners, where it's going to be primarily a walkthrough guide, this is going to be tips and tricks of how to do what you need to do for certain aspects of the game. So today, we're going to start out with NPC damage prevention and your basically just NPC build. Mine is NPC tank. So first things first, you want to be in the safe haven and you want to get your primary ship, whatever your favorite ship design is. I have five damage versus NPCs for my special gem. Five percent armor plate bonus. That's a good one. If you don't have damage versus NPCs, I would recommend the armor plate bonus. Uh, there's also a three percent damage versus NPCs. I would recommend damage versus NPCs 5, 3, or 5% 5 armor reduction. If you don't have any of those gems, but you do have some, leave a comment below and I will get back to you. So, first things first, hit probability, cannon damage, repair value, and damage prevention. Those are the four gems you're going to want for your NPC. And we're doing damage prevention because that works towards NPCs as opposed to dodge chance that works towards players. We'll get into that later. Next is pets. You want hit probability, preferably on your pet. Uh, it does more damage than cannon damage. You look at some regular cannon damage here. 7.5% compared to 21% hit probability. You're going to get much more damage off your hit probability. Damage prevention. This is, for, again, for my NPC build. And I have 10 expansion slots so that I can... Moving on to the next topic. Level 6 reinforced ribs. Now, if you don't have level 6, you should still use ribs anyways. You only have regular ones. They give 10% damage prevention and 14,000 HP and voodoo points. And they cost 15. Level 3 is 16%, 17,000. Level 6 is 20,000 and 22% damage prevention. So you want to work your way up to a lot of level 6 ribs. Now I have 114% damage prevention right now. So you want your ribs. You want damage prevention on your ship design. You want your damage prevention on your pet. And next up... is in the forecastle. You want your damage prevention in the adamantine hull. 20% damage prevention. That's huge. It's very, very useful. So next up, we have skills. Damage prevention, 13.8% maxed out. So you have your gems, your pet gems, your castles, your skills, your expansions. And the last thing that you need to worry about for damage prevention, you go to your crew, you go to pets, you go drop down, you go to trainers, and I have a level 5 agility trainer. It gives me 15% dodge chance and 6% damage prevention. And all of that gives me up to 114% damage prevention, which means I get hit less hard by NPCs. Now, if you want proof of this, give me two seconds. So here's a Raven's Omen for the Sun in, or the Ice and the Sun event. And as you can see, it's hitting me for zero damage because I have so much damage prevention. So uh, this is a tank NPC build video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you have more questions about how to be tankier against NPCs, let me know. Uh, to clarify one more time, dodge chance is for PvP. And damage prevention is for PvE, NPCs. Dodge chance is players. Damage prevention is NPCs. Now, I can go into more of an in-depth video if you have more questions. But this is just a quick, simple video to let you know what's up. Have a good day.